Buongiorno! This is a video for all the people who ask me what a Filofax is. It's going to be a dummy's guide to a Filofax. Yay! Right, so I will first of all start showing you some of the sizes. I don't have all the sizes because of I don't need them all. But here's A5, right? And that is like A5 size paper, okay? And then the next size down, and they also do A4. The next size down is personal, which is a little bit smaller than A5. I'll compare the two. That's like the next size down. And then there is also pocket, which is even smaller than a personal. And the paper is, sorry, I don't have any personal paper available. then the paper is quite a bit smaller so it's like another step down again there is also another size called mini as well and there are loads of other sizes that are older I think but yeah so that is the size difference between the three as you can see they all go down like sort of like a size this is more of a slimline A5 though so A5 is usually bigger you can also have different like openings like this one's just like a sort of like one without a clasp or anything so it's just like flaps open and they all have different pockets like this one you can put like a um, notepad in there so then you can write on the notepad then put it in the ring and it's also got like pockets so you can use it like a wallet or whatever they also do zipped ones which are zipped for her pleasure as you may remember and yeah and this one's got loads of pockets as well and they all always have loads of nice useful pockets for putting things in or you have one that's got a clasp which you open like that that and then sometimes you get special ones that are like this and you just flick it and then it opens as you see it's got loads of little pockets yeah. so those are the choices and sizes but then they also come with lots of different ring sizes like as an example this is 30 millimeter rings right and then this one is 23 so you can see quite a big difference can't you so as you can put them Anyway, but there's, so, so there's quite a big difference between the two. So, depending on the sizes of the rings, it depends on how much you can put in there. I'm not too sure how much you can put in there. But the idea of a file effect is a diary and like a notebook and all stuff like that. See, look, this is the one I'm using at the moment. It's got my diary inside, and then it's got like, like all my notes and stuff. So. I keep everything in here, which makes things very useful because then you've got everything in one place and you carry around in your handbag. They also do lots of inserts, like you get to-do lists, you can get lots of different coloured papers, and you can get little pads that are like um, small little things that you can just put like on one set of rings. They do expen um, like expenses and finance sheets, you can get spare rulers if you want to have more than one ruler. Um, like there's diaries, like all different layouts of diary. There's like this, this is like the standard one that comes with most five packs is standard. Or you can get one that's like that, which there's loads of different formats like day to page, two days to page, all sorts, anything you can imagine. But they also do cheaper ones like this, which is not made of leather. It's just like. I don't know what to show what it's made of plastic probably or something. But yeah, it's a cheaper one and it's still like it's still a nice file pack and I think it's just not as nice as like a leather one. So file packs is range from like I think maybe you get one for about fifteen pounds and they go up to a few hundred like quite a few hundred. My most expensive one is this one, which is worth hundred and ninety five pounds, but it was on half price sale, so I bought it. So that's the most expensive and that's the cheapest one. So you can quite see like quite a difference like, in the finish and everything. So um yeah, that is an idiot's guide to filofaxes. If you have any questions, put them down there and I will try and help you. Have a nice day!